Maybe you've been hearing that the SAT is going digital for US students in 2024, but what does this mean? How will the test change and how should you prepare for it? We'll cover all of that in today's video. Well, hi, I'm Anna, SAT Director with Principia Tutors and Consultants. For years, we've helped students prepare for the SAT, and in today's video, we'll help you transition to the revamped version of the digital test that will be available in the US starting in March 2024. We'll cover the new format, updates specific to the math and reading writing sections, and some preparation tips. Let's get started. First, let's talk about the format of the digital SAT. As you can tell from the name, one big difference in the digital SAT is that it's going to be administered digitally. That change also allows the new SAT to be adaptive, meaning that the questions you answer correctly in the first half of the test may influence the questions you see in the second half. You're not guaranteed to see exactly the same questions as everyone else who completes the test on that same day. The test will accommodate this change using modules. Each section of the test, both the reading, writing, and the math, are going to be divided into two modules. You'll complete module one, and then the test is going to adapt to whatever questions you answered correctly in module two. The test is also going to be much shorter overall. Instead of three hours the previous test time, the test is now going to last approximately two hours instead. Now let's talk specifics for the math section. Previously, the paper-based test had 58 total questions that were split between a calculator and a no calculator section. Now, however, the math test is going to be shorter with only 44 total questions. You will also be able to use a calculator for both modules of the test. In terms of timing, the total time allowed has been adjusted as well. Instead of having about 80 minutes, you're now gonna have 35 minutes per module, which equals out to 70 total minutes. This is just a little bit more time per question than you previously had on the paper SAT. Now finally, let's talk about the breakdown in question distribution. There won't be dramatically more free response questions on the digital SAT. The numbers are pretty similar, but they will be mixed in with the multiple choice questions, not separated off at the end of a section. Also note that it is now possible for there to be negative numbers in the free response questions. You'll observe as you look at these comparisons that the math section isn't too different between the paper-based and the digital SAT. If you've already started preparing for the paper-based test, you can breathe a sigh of relief at that. Now let's switch over to the reading and writing sections, and this is where we're gonna see a lot more changes. First, there are no longer separate sections for reading and writing. Now you're going to see one combined section that contains questions both about those reading and writing skills. The number of questions is also pretty significantly reduced. Instead of 96 questions that you saw previously, that number is now down to just 54 total questions divided into those two modules again. Another big change is that the passage length is going to look very, very different. Instead of having a long passage with 10 or 11 questions per passage and 11 questions per writing passage, we're instead just going to see one question per reading and writing passage, and those passages are gonna be significantly shorter. They're typically gonna be between one and three sentences. Given that, though the timing doesn't look that much different per question, it's probably going to feel like you have a lot more time on those reading and writing sections. So given all of these changes, how should you prepare for the digital SAT? Well, first, be sure you know which test you're taking. Most international students have already started taking the digital SAT, and U.S. students will see their first digital test in March of 2024. If you're a U.S. student testing in 2023, don't worry about these changes yet. Otherwise, once you're ready to start preparing, we recommend looking for resources specific to the digital SAT, particularly for reading and writing. The College Board has released four digital tests in Blue Book, their testing app that you can take at any time. We recommend not using all of these up right away and saving some of them for closer to your test date, but they're in the app when you need them. The College Board has also released four non-adaptive tests you can download as PDFs, but do be aware some of the questions from those do overlap with the adaptive tests, so take those adaptive tests first. 
College Board's partner Khan Academy also has some resources specific to the digital SAT. And if you're looking for more strategy instruction in reading and writing, we love Erica Meltzer's SAT reading and SAT grammar textbooks, which have been updated for the new test format with some of those shorter passages. You can find a link to those in the description box below. We're still waiting for a great digital SAT math textbook to be released, but in the meantime, our students have always had success with College Panda for their SAT math fundamentals. If we find a great textbook specific to the digital test though, we'll update the description box below as well. Now in general, we also recommend really working on your testing stamina even if the test is a little shorter. Taking practice tests under testing conditions to build up your endurance is key. We'll keep an eye out for those good digital SAT practice tests and we'll update you here as we find them or as we release some of our own versions as well. Now finally, don't panic if you've already started preparing for the paper SAT. There are lots of question types that are going to overlap on all sections of the test, and many of the strategies that you've learned will be similar for both the paper and the digital SATs. We'll have more videos coming on specific digital SAT question types soon. Don't forget to subscribe if you'd like more support on your digital SAT preparation.